Hello everyone, this is the video which shows how permeability test is done. This time it was done by the students from the University of Rwanda, College of Science and Technology, third year civil engineering. You're welcome to watch this video and surely you learn more from this video. In permeability test, we determine the mass M1, which is the mass of some equipment we used, which are the plastic specimen tube, the porous stone, the spring, and the two rubber stoppers. After finding the mass M1, we find out the mass M2, which is the mass of this equipment and the specimen together, so that we make a subtraction to get the mass of the specimen alone. This mass of the specimen is used to determine the specific gravity and the void ratio of the specimen. This time we used a sandy soil and we determined its permeability constant K. Here students were fixing all the equipment in order and collecting the sand into the perimeter so that we put it on the balance to find out its mass. Now we fix everything as it should be fixed. Then you put it on the balance to get its total weight. It is really necessary to record this mass because it's a key in determining the specific gravity of the soil tested. Yeah, step two, we measured the length of the compacted specimen into the tube. Then we measured the quantity K, the quantity Q, which is the amount of water which passed through the tubes and the passed through the specimen in the perimeter then flows out in the constant head chamber. We collected this amount of water so that we use it to determine the permeability constant K in the, using the formula. This formula you will see it at the end of this video. Yeah, it is really necessary to pay attention and read the exact value where our specimen is in the perimeter. Normally this height is two-thirds the height of the, the perimeter. Then here students were fixing the tubes on the perimeter where water will pass through and then be, be collected after passing the constant head chamber. Here we are pouring the water on a given height so that we keep the height constant. Then finally we used all those data such as Q, such as L which is the height at which the specimen is in the perimeter, the time we recorded it using a stopwatch, then we find out the constant K. We compare it with the with its, its specific gravity and the void ratio, and we find out how the water passes through our soil sample as it passes quickly, easily, slowly, so that we find out how really our sample water passes through it. Thank you.